favoritism much? It's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, goers! You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Brain. Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. If this is your first time of the series, you know you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below. Uh, as well, uh, if you're watch as if you're watching it live on YouTube, of course, if you're watching it live on stream, know that I appreciate having you here, having you folks interact in the, uh, in the chat play around with channel points and bits and all the various fun stuff that we have for you to interact with me there. Uh, I love those interruptions and all those fun, all that fun stuff. Uh, of course, if you are uh, uh, just sitting around watching me play, that's perfectly fine too. I don't mind lurkers either. Uh, that being said, uh, for uh, for those of you who would like to join us live, you can do so every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30pm to 10pm Pacific Time at twitch.tv forward slash the biscuit eater. Please also make sure that if you have a chance to like and, and comment on the video to help me out the YouTube algorithm uh, while we're going on here. I don't mind actually hearing about the things that you like to see me do while I play. Uh, so I had a couple more things I need to do before, uh, apparently before I sleep for the night. So let's go ahead and continue on with the game here. So apparently there is a book here. Somewhere between these two, there is supposedly an Albert Primer. There we go. There. Found one of the Albert Primers. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, I did a little bit of cheating. Don't mind me. I just really quick, I'm like, where is it on the ship? Oh, okay. And I, I, I thought there'd be something here. There's that kid who infiltrates all of our memories. Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't Defying the laws of physics. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. Defying gravity. And a good night to missiles if you're still here. I see that you're planning to leave. So memories of the day, so haunt Titus and interfere with his concentration. Try to shake out the memories and successfully perform the ject shot. Press up, left, and A at the same time. Hey. I'm Okay. Sure, check what you can do. I'm the no one else can do it.
it didn't tell me what to hit. Told you you couldn't do it. It didn't give me any prompts. Oh. <laughs> it didn't give me. Was wasn't it supposed to? Yeah. And now I've wait. I, I've lost another one of his balls. You tried to do a jack shot, right? Uh. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the sublimely magnificent jack shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Hey, Cap. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. Didn't feel like a dramatic fart was appropriate. That's true. What would you do? If you found him. What? What'd you do? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps, as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Hey! It's past your bedtime, kiddos. I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was gonna happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. I guess yes, we'll save the current game. Those are some impractical hot air balloons. Bing, 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 bing. Fifty years in office. Thank you. 
can you talk about... That's, that's the thing you take issue with in the magic world. The hot air balloon. Yes! Because they're impractical! Their hometown was recently attacked by sin. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yes, Baba, they're going to be pulling out all the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting. What is with is the it, hair folks? spiky dude? Our next team off the ramp is... Is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurox. The Basaid Aurox. The statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Rude. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Right, Jim. Jeez. Moving right along, our next team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca. Uh, sassy. First class team, and they're back home in Luka. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luka has turned out to cheer. Favoritism much? The mm. are number one. Yeah, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, goers! You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> what in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dot! What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived, that's what. Who? Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Let's all go see him. Okay, can't go back. Double checking to make sure there's not anything I can loot because I am the loot fairy. Ha ha ha! If there's anything Luca goers are gonna win again this year. So we better not count the kill like a beast. Don't you know? We're the protagonists. We're going to win. It's to make his rule spirit for the past 50 years. Mr. Mika doesn't make me public appearances. He's getting too old for that. Glad I got here for safely. Don't want another SS leaky incident. If I can catch one glimpse of Master Mika. I'll have something to bra brag about back home. Man, this tournament is going to rock. Even the big man is here to see the game. Okay, we got a chance to save. So we save. And since it wants us to go that way, let's go this way. We have sealed off all access to the stadium for the time being. We're trying to control the mad rush of people who have already entered the stadium. Well, fine then. We apologize for anything means, but access to the stadium has been sealed off. Well, rude. Dun, 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 dun. Cut scene. Can't 
see a thing. Shh. Ooh. -oo. So it's rude, Satya. <laughs> That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? Seymour Butt, more likely. Yeah, he's not a bad guy. Assuredly. That's not bad guy hair. Seymour is definitely a good guy, no question. Only good guys have well. hair veins on their face. Exactly. Rise, Mr. Seymour. Rise, and all Mr. Of you Seymour. As well. I present to you. I the present son to of you. Mr. Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fortnight Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. What is it, Guado? Other than a real someone, someone with a really hairy underboob. Oh. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also. There's history there. Yes, I guess save my current game again. Weird forced saves. Oh. What gives? Where's Waka? At the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Get Waka! <laughs> We're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seeded. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Tutorial time! Oh, jeez. This ball, there are five players per team in the sphere pool. Oh, red map shows all players' current positions and direct direction each is facing. Yeah, from being seated is something to brag about, that's right. Here, only one team is shown in the field. Titus is carrying the ball now. Ball carrier is displayed at a circled area on the map. Now let's watch the players move. It seemed quite confusing at first, but it's actually quite simple. But by default, player movement is set to auto, so everyone moves around the pool automatically. Use the overhead map to check the player's positions. The triangular frame inside the red circle is the opposing team's goal. Here it is. The goal is always on the left-hand side of the overhead map. Let's resume. Try keeping track of your position in relation to the goal. Next, let's try moving the ball carrier manually. Press X.
Oh, ball, ball carry. Ah! Yeah, that, that, ah! ah. I don't like that. No, it becomes harder to manage your teammates while manually controlling the carrier. No, the recommended for veteran blizzards. Blitzers. Press X again. Auto movement. Try switching between any auto movements. You feel for both modes. I'm going to stick with auto. Oh. Hey, there's also a mode called manual B. Stick with auto movement for right now. Good modes are only applicable when you're on offense. When you're on defense, your entire t team moves on auto. Oi, oi, oi. In order to make a player perform an action, you must use an action command. You press the action command window by pressing Y. Press Y now. You can pause while the action command is open so you have ample time to think about your next move. This is explained elsewhere. Please select dribble. <laughs> Tutorials, menus, excitement! Indeed. There are three available commands, fast, shoot, and dribble. Dribble simply makes the player resume movement. Pass and shoot are the most important commands. Y opens the action command, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Passing. Now let's take a look at passing. Press Y now. Select pass. Select receiver free pass. Pass is complete. Now Letty has the ball. Let's move each pass. Take a look at the number one show next to the PA. Passing ability. Packing, passing accuracy. Let's pass the ball back to Titus. Gradual decrease in PA. The friction of the water causes the PA's pass to gradually decrease. If PA reaches zero, the pass becomes un uncatchable. Now let's watch Titus throw a bad pass. We'll set his PA to three. Pass fails, the ball becomes loose, the loose ball can be claimed by anyone. Therefore, a player with a high PA can successfully throw longer passes. Likewise, a player with low PA often throws bad passes, giving the other team a chance to add the ball. Shooting. How to shoot. Our shooting accuracy is displayed at SH. Check SH. SH now at 10. A shoot loses a shot that travels through the water just just passes the PA. A shot that reaches a goal with with le SH of less than at least one will score. As SH is completed, it will fail. Goalkeeper defends the goal from Titus's shot. Let's do it. Open the command window. We're pressing Y. Select shoot. So shoot the goalkeeper sets appear beneath the earth. Your, your teammate stats are displayed on a blue black background, the opposing on a red. CA represents the goalkeeper's ability to catch incoming shots. For example, Roddy's ability is shown as 8. Let's resume. Keep your eye on the shots SH as it decreases. SH is now 2. This shot loss of SH as it travels the water is currently at a 2. Here we take the shot's SH and subtract the goalkeeper's CA. If no SH remains, then the shot fails. 
Be aware that the actual CA applied here is randomized, ranging from 50 to 150% of the goalie's current CA. Here the goalkeeper has a CA of 8, so the actual amount subtracted may vary from 4 to 12. Let's see whether the shot SA score will remain above 0. Of course it won't. Shot failed because they hit 0. Now let's try scoring a goal. Which is a manual movement, close to the goal, and try shooting from there. <laughs> All people in the stands cheering on the tutorial. Oof. Using HP. And blissful All players expend HP to perform actions. Such a dramatic dive. They give HP a stamina because players remain conscious even if their HP drops to zero. First thing remember is that whoever has the ball suddenly loses HP while carrying it through the water. Watch how tight his HP falls from 100 as he carries the ball. As you can see, HP decreases when the ball is carried. Shooting and passing also consume HP, so let's take a look. Each shot consumes 10 HP, so let's see. HP decreases from 26 to 16. Blitz ball, all actions require HP. Rowdy catches the ball. See what happens when HP runs low. Players can still shoot even if their HP falls below 10. When you do their shots, only half as effective. We're not even going to get to the game, are we? So hopefully it'll make it through the rest of the And a counter occurs when opposing players can in contact with the ball carrier. If you are the ball carrier, the action commands will menu open. You must then decide on the course of action in the face of opposing players. No break. Big sense stands in that space, that's the play to the top right. Next action command window appears, select like pass for now. Normally, the ball is thrown here, it would lose PA as it travels through the water. But in the counter, opposing players start to block your passes and shots. There, uh, blocking. Pass loses an amount of PA equal to Bixen's BL. The actual calculation is slightly. Jeez, this is needlessly. As long as PA is at least one, the pass goes through. Once through, the pass continues to expand PA as it travels toward the ascendant receiver. Watch PA re closely as we resume play. IBL, blah, blah, blah. So we can include multiple defenders to see how that... Somehow it catches the pass you through behind you. Yeah. They all do. They all have incredible lungs.
wonder if it's going to let me save before we actually go to the game itself. Hoping so, because it looks like it's going to be a next episode. This is going to be the tutorial episode. Oh, shoot for now. Any time to shoot, go keep her off that comes in. Yeah, they all, I don't know how they're all breathing. I'm assuming this is not a blitz ball. Or is it a blitz ball? This is a place to learn techniques from their opponents. It's called tech copy. First, have one of your players mark an opponent who knows a desirable technique. Now the player will keep an eye on that opponent in order to learn his techniques. Break to Bixen. Tech copy appears on top of the screen when a player uses a technique during a game. It indicates a window of opportunity to learn that technique. Press A at the right time in order to learn it. Let's try that now. It's like dribble for now. As a merchant, only one will learn at any one time. Your players may have trouble learning techniques, so if they have lower levels than their respective targets. Once you're learning your technique, you can equip it on at halftime or at the start of the next match. And it's another... Another... Uh, I'm going to end the two... Okay. I'm sure this, this is starting to... Uh, I want to see what we can do tonight. <laughs> There's a save point, so we probably can save. And we'll actually do the, ac the actual... There you are! Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Game starts like real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka, <sighs> you're stiff, man. <clears throat> no, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jekt. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Oren Yuna was talking about, and the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why. But I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. There's there's a save point here. We're grabbing the save point because Aha Okay. There we go. Because it is 952, which means we are at the end of our session for the night. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. We're going to uh, pick up where we left off. Sorry about the fact that this episode was a lot of tutorials, but uh, it's, it, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and switch on over here. And uh, since apparently we're not getting any music, let's go ahead and put this in here. Regardless, thank you very much, folks, for being here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If indeed you did, please make sure you help me out by clicking on the like button on the video, commenting on the video. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click that notification bell. That way, we'll, we'll, you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. I do post new videos to the channel every Monday through Friday, so it's a great way to catch up on my previous streams and the series, as well as some of the other stuff that we're doing here. That being said, you can also find 
down below both YouTube and Twitch in the description. You can find links to all my various social media channels so you can continue the conversation with me once we're done here. That being said, thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope that you enjoyed. And until I see you next time, game on, lovelies.